everyone welcome back this is anam and you are watching biogenesis so today we are going to discuss about some important terms of genetics that will be used in the next on uh, the principle of a genetics and the other topic that are related to genetics so the first one the first important term we have gene 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 is actually the functional unit of inheritance. Functional unit of inheritance. Gene is actually the thing that transfer from one generation to another generation, or we can say from parents to offspring. Gene was actually originally called factor by Mendel. That idea was given by Mendel and he actually named it factor. But later on, Johansson, he named that factor actually are the genes and genes are actually transferred from one generation to an other one so the next one we have alleles second one alleles alleles are actually the two form of a different gene or we can say the form of gene form of gene actually they are Two form of a gene. The one is dominant, and the other we have recessive. Why, in case of dominant, we indicate it with a capital letter, example P, and in case of recessive. We indicate it with a small letter or we can say with a lowercase. In the dominant with the uppercase and in case of recessive we show it with a small letter or lowercase. So these are actually the two form of uh, genes. Two form alleles are actually the two form of uh, genes that one is dominant and other is recessive. There are an other multiple uh, type of uh, genes are present for example in a blood group but normally only two form of genes are exist and we use this rule that for dominant we use capital D and for small we use for recessive we use small d so the next one we have homozygous homozygous mean for example both genes are same. For example, we have both dominant genes. These are homozygous. In the same way, we have both recessive genes. So, these are homozygous recessive. In the case of dominant, capital D, capital D, these are homozygous dominants and dominant and other one, the small t, the small t, homozygous recessive. The other case we have heterozygous, the fourth one after the homozygous. Heterozygous mean the one gene is actually dominant, we write capital T, and the other one is recessive, so we write small t. So this is this condition is actually known as heterozygous while in case of homozygous both genes are the same like capital D capital D for the dominant trait and homozygous dominant and for the recessive small d small d and these are homozygous recessive while in heterozygous the one is dominant and the other is recessive so this condition is actually known as heterozygous so the fifth one we have phenotype and genotype.
Phenotype mean the physical appearance, physical appearance. While the genotype mean the genetic makeup, genetic makeup. When we talk about the phenotype, we are actually talking about the physical appearance of the gene. For example, we take a tall plant, we just take a cross, tall plant with a short plant. So, the product will be, so, the plant will be heterozygous dominant because T indicates the dominant trait. In another case, both are dominant. So, the product will again the tall plant. So, this is the physical appearance. By treating this, okay, this is a tall plant, tall plant. This is the physical appearance of that uh, gene. But, this is the reason why it's tall. That reason is actually the genetic makeup. So, in case of this, it's a heterozygous dominant. Heterozygous dominant. While in case of this, it's homozygous dominant. So this is the genetic makeup. This is the reason. Genetically, we uh, just got that information, and by the physical appearance, we can uh, we can uh, explain all this statement. Okay, this is about the phenotype and genotype. Now, the next one we have cross, the sixth one. Cross means actually the breeding or we can say the reproducing of uh, or we say the reproduction of the two plants. Breeding of two plants we say. Breeding of two plants. For example, we just take one tall plant and we cross that tall plant into the with the short plant. So this is actually the crossing. We cross these two plants. One tall and other is small. We just cross these two genes, these two alleles, and the product will be the tall plant. So, this is actually the cross. The next one we have peanut square. So, the next one we have peanut square. I guess it's number 6. Okay, 6 or 7. Whatever. So, before discussing the peanut square, uh, we just discuss about the female job. When we talk about the female, actually we're talking about the next generation. It could be the F1, it could be the F2 and so on. The, previ the previous, um, the next generation actually. For example, uh, when we cross two plants and the product will be this one. So, this is actually the next generation. In the same way, when again we cross uh, the different plant and the generation goes on. So, the failure term is actually when we talking about the next generation. So, the next one we have, can you ask here? Pinesker is actually named after the scientist who gave the idea about this representation. It's actually a one kind of a, a checkerboard thing, we say. And what is actually this? For example, we have two parents. Tall plant cross with short plant. So the gamut from this parents would be this, and the gamut from this parents would be this. 
So, at this side, and we just suppose this is from the male gametes. So, capital T, capital T, and on the other side, we take the other parent gametes that is small t, small t, and this would be the female. So, when we crossed T, we cross with small t, the product will be this one. And the situation will be the same in the next cases. So, this is actually the checkerboard kind of a thing and it gives us the idea about the probability. We can identify it, we can calculate the phenotype and the genotype of that of the organism uh, we can say according to this peanut scale so after that we have selfing 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 is actually we can define the cross uh, between the plants of the same member the cross, cross of a same member of the generation. For example, this is the cross, the male parent, the female parent parents and the project we go over the dominant and recessive, the capital and small t. So this is actually the F1 generation. Now if we took two plants from this, the one is this one and the other one. This is actually the member of the same generation. So it's called selfing. We, take this, we took the same plants from the same generation and crossing uh, will be done. So this is actually called selfing. The next one we have pure line. Pure line is actually a particular genotype being selfed for more than five generations. And for example, we have dominant plant, tall plant and cross with again dominant plant, tall plant. So what will be the result? The result will be the we got tall homozygous dominant plant and again this process repeat for more than five generations and the reason why we repeat because we only want the same genotype the one genotype and that we got from this cross so this is pure line so the next one after the pure line we have next term Monohybrid. It's very simple. As mono mean one. When we are checking only the one character while we are crossing two plants, for example, tall plants cross with short plants. Only one character right now we are checking. What is this? This is tall band mean we are checking height. So it's monohybrid. Monohybrid. Why monohybrid? Because at this time we are only checking one character. While we are checking one character, it's monohybrid cross. So the next one we have dihybrid cross. Okay, the next one we have dihybrid cross dihybrid cross dihybrid cross mean we are checking two different character at the same time for example we cross tall plant with purple color cross with short plant or we can say dwarf plant with 
white color. These are the recessive traits and these are the dominant traits. Now this time we are checking actually two characters. One is height and other is color. At the same time we are checking two characters. So that's why it's known as dihybrid cross. In the same way we have trihybrid cross. As name indicate we are checking three characters at the same time. Trihybrid cross. In the trihybrid cross we check the three character at the same time. For example, we have tall plant with purple color along with axle position cross with short plant with white color along with terminal position. Okay. These are the dominant traits, these are the recessive traits. So, at a time, we are checking three different characters. The one is height, the other is color, and the third one, we are checking the position. So, this is actually the trihybrid cross. So, these are some important terms of genetics that we would use in a different principle of the genetics or other topic that are related to genetics so it's all about the today lecture we'll see you will see you in the next video with a new topic and any kind of a top, a topic that you suggest you recommend will follow them thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like this video please press the like button and also subscribe my channel thank you so much take care